Peace, y'all. We back in the building. You know what I mean? This is like part four or part five of uh, the truth about slavery. According to the Hebrew Israelites. And, um, yeah, you know, I should have stated this a while ago because I know maybe if y'all been watching a few of these clips, y'all think that I'm, like, attacking y'all doctrine. Um, yeah, I'm kind of attacking your doctrine, but not really your doctrine because it's not your doctrine. It's these fucking King James and these translators doctrine that I'm attacking, not my brothers and sisters who may define themselves as Hebrew Israelites according to the doctrine that was given to them by these translators that me and the brother Juice had a debate with SRS camp about. And we was breaking it down. So so I wanted I wanted to find that. I want to make that clear that, you know what I'm saying, this is not a personal attack. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I got certain sarcasms and stuff that I throw in there, like, read, brother. And, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, you know, you know, that's you know, that is what it is. But this is not you know, overall, this is knowledge that I'm breaking down. This ain't like a personal attack, like, yo, y'all need to, like, nah, it's not even like that. This is for the clarification for the people so that the people can see the reality because when you're dealing with a topic like slavery, you really got to understand that there's different levels to this shit. You know what I'm saying? How the, how, how, how the brother Meek Mill said, there's different levels to this shit. You know what I'm saying? So, like, you know, like, like for example, how, like, brother... Um, Dr. Umar Johnson broke down how he said um, um, uh, white supremacy is the father of, or, or what did he say, or light skin supremacy is the father of white supremacy or, or vice versa or whatever, because he said, you know, um, by, you know, if I think I'm better than you because I'm light skin, you know what I'm saying, like say I'm a light skin brother or whatever, if I was a light skin brother, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a dark skin brother, not a seed, by the way, though, but I'm saying if I was, if I was to say I understand a wisdom seed or understand a seed, um, light skin, so-called light skin brother, um, and I thought I was better than a dark skin brother because of the fact that my skin was lighter than his, then by default, I must think that the white man is better than me because his skin is lighter than mine. See what I'm saying? So that's like a, that's like different levels to the mental enslavement that goes on. So, you know, if they're going to go into the Bible to talk about slavery and, you know, they've been using different scriptures, like, you know, we've been going through those different scriptures that they, you know, saying went through before and so forth, so forth. And they've been using scriptures to, um, you know, verify or justify the enslavement and all of that. <clears throat> like, like, like another one, they were talking about the enslavement in Egypt or uh, so-called bondage or whatever. Um, you know, if that's the case, right, they only speak about one period of history in Egypt, which it may be that this period about the 19th dynasty, how the brother was breaking down in the debate, you go back to the debate, um, the wild debate, um, SRS camp versus Messiah and Juice, a.k.a. Dawada, you know what I'm saying? And he was breaking down that whole science. You know what I mean? But yeah, so, you know, the using scriptures to just, oh, yeah, the 19th dynasty was breaking down the, the, the science about the 19th dynasty and under the King Ramesses. Um, and, you know, who they talk about Moses, who's really Thutmosis, you know what I'm saying? And King Ramesses is really Ursa Ma'at Ra Sep Ra. You know what I'm saying? And. This is a history that they misconstrued or, you know, in the Bible, because, you know, the Bible is nothing but a bunch of Egyptian history. Because all throughout the Bible, everybody goes to Egypt. Why does everybody go to Egypt? Not like, not like, and they always talk about all this enslavement in Egypt and all this, that, and the third. Well, why everybody keep going to Egypt? Everybody goes to Egypt willingly. Or, or they say, oh, they fled into Egypt, or they went here, they went there, they, you know, so every, everybody just goes to Egypt. Egypt was just a popping place to be, you know what I'm saying, all throughout the Bible. But they try to turn it around and make it seem like, no, this was the bad place because Pharaoh, the evil, wicked ruler Pharaoh, was enslaving the people. And Moses said, let my people go, and da 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 and bullshit, man, with these made-up fucking stories, you know what I'm saying? You know, made up off of 
partial stories that they get from the Egyptian um, story. So, like, like if you read in the in the in the, in the comedic history about like Thutmosis, you'll see his story is very similar or actually identical to who they call Moses in the Bible. You know, born, you know, saying and and sent by the midwife or whatever through the water over to the I mean sent over the water by the mother and received by the midwife of the king and all that da 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 da. Um, you know, and brought into the kingdom, so forth. You know, same history, you know what I'm saying? Um, and if y'all seen the Zeke guys, go on YouTube, type in Z-E-I-T-G-E-I-S-T. Zeke guys. Z-E-I-T-G-E-I-S-T. Zeke guys. Zeke guys, the movie. And in that movie, they're breaking down the science about religion, how, you know, um, um, the story of Horus, you know, born 3000 B.C., you know what I'm saying, this born on December 25th, born of a virgin, you know what I'm saying, um, was death and resurrection story, you know what I'm saying, and all of that, that, that I had 12 disciples, was teaching the people, boom, 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 all of that same, same, same sign, same story. Um, you know, uh, Mo, um, Joseph was a prototype for Jesus. You know, you look at the parables and the similarities of both of their lives. They they both order things to line up. He was sold for thirty pieces, da da da, silver and all of that, da da da, da. all those things lined up. So you see how basically it's just the Bible is plagiarism. It's basically all it is is plagiarism. You know, you watch the Z guys and they break down how, um, and really, and not just the Z guys, because Ashrock Quazy and um, she can't, uh, rather say, um, brothers like um, John Henry Clark and so forth, and all of our black scholars have been breaking their sciences down for years. So it's not like the Z guys was a very good presentation. That's why I, I give reference to it. And the only thing I disagree about in that scientific part, the, in the first part about the Z guys, is the um, procession of the equinox where he talks about how it takes um, one, they gave like 21,000 and something, whatever time period for the um, um, for the for the new um, age. And we know that it's, according to our studies, according to the Asiatic calendar, it's, it's 25,000 years for every cycle. You know what I'm saying? So they was kind of off on that mathematics. That's the only thing I, you know, disagree with. But everything else they dropped in that shit, facts, actual facts. You know what I'm saying? Facts, facts, facts. And the reason why, and the reason why the, the possession of the equinox thing was real important because if he, they were saying that basically it's going to be like a hundred, another 150 years or something before we enter the age of Aquarius. No, we're already in the age of Aquarius. Remember, we're going according to, we're going according to the, uh, to the uh, Gregorian calendar, in which remember, you know, they took five days off the calendar, which um, shortened time. So you got to understand that I'm mean, a part of self. They um they added five days onto the calendar. They, the, the ancient people in in and in Egypt or what they what is actually Kemet ancient Kemet they had a calendar of 300 for 360 degrees 360 days. You know what I'm saying? Um, and the Gregorian calendar added on five days, and now there's 365 days of the year which actually throws off time. It's kind of like saying, like, you run from here to the corner, and let's say it takes you 60 seconds. Then you put um, a 100-pound weight on your back, you know what I'm saying, and then you run from here to the corner. It's going to take you a little, it's going to take you longer to get there because you're carrying more weight. It's going to slow you down. So by them adding five days onto the calendar, which was 360, and them adding five days on, you know, as years and years and years and years and years go by, those five days add up. So you're actually adding time on to, you know what I'm saying, or taking time away from, however you want to see it, um, in its polarity, um, what the actual set time was. And you know the and you know the comedic people, they was all in time with the astrology and the cosmology and the and, and all the alignments of the universe and the stars and all of that. So they, they knew what time it was. So you could definitely bear witness that they're calendars were accurate however 
um, now that you got the European coming through and altering things, now um, added by us adding the five days onto the calendar to sum it up, you know, saying that basically threw us off in time. So we are literally lost in time. According to the Gregorian calendar, we are lost in time. So this is why I said that procession of the equinox, where he was saying it's going to be um, 150 years before we age of Aquarius, that right there is once again scientific religion. Like, even though he gave all that science and the Z guys and all of that, when he hit us with that procession of the equinox shit and said we got to wait a whole nother 150 years or however much it was, the, t the time period, um, before we're in the age of Aquarius, like, no. Because now that just keeps us waiting. Just like, they got us, just like the church got us waiting on Jesus, the so-called scientists out there got us waiting on this this miraculous time in the in the in the infinite universe in which is such and such is supposed to happen. Like no bro, we we, 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 we know the science of the of the of the comedic um calendars and we know what time it really is, you know what I'm saying? Um, or at least more so around to the time what it would really be, more so accurate than than this Gregorian calendar. You know what I'm saying? Um, I would I would bear witness to the Asiatic calendar or or a Kemetic calendar or the Mayan calendar before I bear witness to the Gregorian calendar. So the Gregorian calendar, we know which they admit they altered. So we know that's definitely something where we're thrown out of time. You know what I'm saying? We're taken out of time. So anyway, um, same thing, so how can I apply that concept so I don't go off? I just thought about it, too, because I didn't want to be drifting. Um, but I'm just adding on anyway. Um, that applies to the Bible, too, because there's no dates in the Bible. So if we're going to line up history and say, when did this happen? When exactly did this take place? You know what I'm saying? Then we need to line things up and put it in history um, or our story, you know what I'm saying? Because history is his story. Rather, I say our story, you know what I'm saying? So when I say our story, I mean our story, our story. Um, yeah, yeah, um, coin that, Lord Messiah, I just made that word right there, our story. <laughs> I'm pretty sure y'all said it before, mind not take mine, but I'm coining it, our story. You know what I'm saying? Our story. You know your black our story? You know black our story? Young brother, do you know black our story? What's that? Our story. Where? What's our story? Yeah, brother, let me break it down to you. See, brother, we was... <laughs> nah. <laughs> let me chill, let me chill, let me chill. All right, now, nah, but once we rush it, though, right? So let me get back to the, to the real topic of the, of the discussion, right? So like I was saying, right, I'm not feeling the whole science of using the Bible to justify slavery. That's my whole debate against this whole thing, you know what I'm saying? Because, you know what I mean? And, and also to uh, finish up that whole thing about the scientific religion and how they got us waiting. Um, I'm not trying to be waiting on no, on no scientific uh, occurrence in the universe, and I'm not trying to be waiting on no mystery god to come floating on a cloud, and I'm not waiting on no um, so-called leader to uh, lead us to the promised land. Um, but we got to understand that in this day and age, not saying that we have to be on some selfish shit because it ain't about us being selfish. It's about us being dealing in equality with each other as true brothers and sisters, not on some shysty, um, grimy, fuck that nigga, fuck you, I don't care about that nigga, you don't, da, 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 da. You don't even care about your, your fellow man, your fellow brother, because you ain't got shit, he, you ain't got shit, you think he ain't got shit, niggas all fucked up in the hood, you know what I'm saying, and, 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 you, and you externalize your problems out on other people instead of um, dealing with your internal problems in your own situations to better your own self, you know what I'm saying? So we got a lot of static and strife and shit going on in the hood and yada, 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 you know what I'm saying? But, um, yeah, that ain't, that ain't, that ain't even what it is, man. But, um, yeah, so, um, yeah, so. We ain't trying to be waiting on nothing, and um, you know that that's that's like another slavery mentality too. You know what I'm saying? To keep the people's minds captivated, uh, and and behold their minds on some myth or some, you know, oh, you know, like that, like the prosperity preachers out there, they be out there. Oh, you're gonna get your blessing. Oh, it's coming soon. Oh, just 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 wait on the Lord, and it's gonna happen. And this right. Tiger here, he's going to send you a blessing in the mail. 
It's going to come like a check or something or a new car or a new house or something. You're going to get a blessing out there. You know what I'm saying? Seizure Bonjour is going to bless you. <laughs> Your boy Seizure Bonjour right here, painted by Leonardo uh, da Vinci. He's going to bless you. He's going to bring you the, the internal gift of God. <laughs> like, how can a. This is another thing, right? I'm, you know what? I'm just freestyle on this right here. How can a picture bring you. Salvation. You know what I'm saying? It's like this, right? You know what, though? What a picture can do for you is give you, like, reverence and remind, reminding of something that means something that has some significance. Like, say, for example, if you got a picture of your, your wife on your wall or if you have a picture of your mother or a picture of your grandfather, or, you know, somebody significant in your life that you, that you love or you admire or you look up to and it's something of inspiration to you. Like, hey, what's wrong with that? Like, 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 you know, like, I, like, like, in my home, I be having pictures of Malcolm X on the wall, the Father of Allah on the wall, Elijah Muhammad on the wall, uh, Noble Drew Ali on the wall, Marcus Garvey on the wall. You know what I'm saying? You know, even the good brother Dr. Martin Luther King on the wall. You know what I'm saying? You know, giving credit where credit is due, because, you know. He wasn't as militant as Malcolm, but there was power in his movement. <coughs> you know what I mean? But um, but yeah, you know. So this picture is not gonna bring anybody salvation. Praying to this picture and kneeling down and saying, "Oh my God, this is my God. Look at Jesus at the Last Supper. He's eating with the disciples. He warned them and told them that." They would be blessed in the name of the Lord in the holy temple. They shall always reside. <laughs> and blah, 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 blah. You know what I'm saying? And all this fairy tale stuff. Now, we might as well be believing in the, um, the Easter Bunny and, and, and Santa Claus and, you know what I'm saying? And uh, what's, 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 what's the name? Uh, the Tooth Fairy and, uh, you know, and all of that. You know? But the biggest fairy tale they gave us, beyond the Easter Bunny and Santa Claus and 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 the Tooth Fairy and all of that, was God in the sky. Oh, and don't forget your boy, the devil down in the ground. Oh shit, he's the one that's gonna chase you around the ring of fire, poke you in the ass with the pitchfork, and ah no, nah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? For all the wrong that you did, right? You know what I'm saying? Uh, that's what they that's what they teach that you know there's a devil down in the ground and you know it's it's he's in this hot fiery pit and you're gonna go down there when you die and you're gonna burn in the fire and the brimstone and <laughs> yeah I laugh at that shit because I know for a scientific fact that that is absolutely impossible. And just, 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 I mean, it's just crazy. I mean, come on, man. Use your logical mind. And we're going to use some mathematics and science. And, you know, shout out to the, to the, to the, to the, to the God. Um, what was the brother's name, man? You know, he broke it down, man. Um, the brother from the Nation of Islam. Um, well, y'all, y'all know, y'all go, y'all go on YouTube and you type in this clip. Um, is heaven and hell real? You know what I'm saying? Part one and part two, and he broke it down. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I, I born that understanding. So I'm gonna kind of reiterate that understanding of what I born from that. You know what I'm saying? And giving credit to the source. You know what I'm saying? But um, yeah, you know, he was breaking down how you know, like about like heaven in the sky, and a lot of that I knew too. But like he broke down the mathematics on it too. You know what I'm saying? It made it made it plain. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, like like. The circumference, uh, the, the diameter of the Earth is 7,926 miles. Half of the diameter would be the radius. You know what I'm saying? So that means, like, from here to here, you know, you draw, like, a line across from here to here. That's the diameter. That's 7,926 miles. Half of that, from, like, here to here, you know what I'm saying, so to speak, um, would be, would be, um, 
3,963 miles. That's the radius. So half half of the di half of the diameter is the radius, and the radius of the Earth would be uh, 3,963 miles. So round that off. That's approximately 4,000 miles. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, 4,000 4, miles. So now, that means like that would be like to the center of the Earth, where they say this hell is, and it's burning hot, and it's that, that, that. The reality is that, yeah, it's a chakra or a star inside the center of the Earth, which is like a baby sun inside the Earth, because the sun left its material in all the planets. And, that's, and that star or chakra that's burning inside the Earth is, like I say, like the baby um, from the sun, you know what I'm saying? That baby sun inside the earth. So there's a so there's a sun in the in the sky, the sun in the earth, and the sun in you. You know what I'm saying? Tridimensional connection. You know, like 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 Tai Chi. When you sit down and you put your base of your spine in what they call Indian style or native style, you sit down and put the base of your spine to the earth, connecting your root chakra to the earth. And you're meditating the thoughts from your crown chakra, from the top of your head. That's Tai Chi. Tai is the heavenly energy, and Chi is the earthly energy. So Tai Chi is the union of the heavenly and the solar and the earthly energies. You know what I'm saying? Solar and earthly energies. So when I say heavenly, don't get it spooky like oh some mystery shit. No. You see the goddess Newt with the stars in her body representing the heavens. The black woman is the portal of life. You understand? That's where all life comes through. All life. Even even in the scripture, Eve is referred to as the mother of all living things, right? So let's go back to the earth. The supreme being black woman. So that 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 radius, which is half of the diameter, would be uh, 3,963 miles, approximately 4,000 miles, right? So now, we know that the Earth is 93 million miles from the sun. You know what I'm saying? And if that is so, we know on a, on a like, you know, like, 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 like a brother said, uh, I think it was Ray H Higgins, he said, you know, on a hot summer day, it'd be so hot you could cook an egg on the hood of a car. You know what I'm saying? It'd be so hot outside, you know what I'm saying? So, and we feel this immense heat from the sun, which has the, so much magnetic power to hold up not only the Earth, but the other eight planets, you know, and moons that revolve around those planets and so forth, and keep them in orbit and revolving and so forth and so forth. And it's been doing so for ageless, you know what I'm saying, for ages, you know what I'm saying? And we see the moon back here as well, you know what I'm saying, revolving around the earth, controlling the high and the low tides, just like a, a female's best friend controls her, her emotions because her best friend is going to be the one that be telling her about her man. Oh, yeah, girl, I think he's a good man. I think he's da-da-da-da. Oh, he treats you so good. He brings you flowers. Oh, he da-da-da-da-da. Now you're feeling high tide. You're feeling good about your man. You know what I'm saying? You're like, yeah, girl, that's the stuff. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know, that he is good. You know, da-da-da-da. Then she might see your man out there shining on another planet, and she bring you that information, and now you feeling low tide about your man. Like, oh, man, girl. Mm-hmm, girl, yeah, they was all smiling, and she was all, you know, like she was feeling him, and da-da-da-da-da-da, and, you know, girl, da-da, you know what I'm saying? So, like, now you now you might be feeling low tide about your man, like, oh, man, baby, well, you know what I mean? I, I heard from, you know, from the moon <laughs> that, um, you know, you was out there shining on other planets. What's going on, God? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, you know, yeah, like, you know, that, that moon, you know, but that moon plays an intricate, you know, part in the in the cycle of things. You know what I'm saying? So we we know and understand these these sciences. You know what I'm saying? Um, as above, so below. So we apply these earth these universal sciences to us here. You know what I'm saying? Walking upon the earth, which is also universal. So anyway, back to the thing, right? Is heaven and hell real, right? All right, so boom, right? Sum it up, right? If we know that the earth is 93 million miles away from the sun, right? You know what I'm saying? And 
the so-called hell that's supposed to be in the center of the earth is only 4,000 miles away. And they say that this hell, so you see the, 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 the crazy part about it is that, um, or the impossible part is that, they say that this hell is so hot. It's burning hell. Oh, you be bad, and you're going to go to hell. And it's so hot down there, you're going to burn, and a fire and a brimstone, and da-da-da. And, and they say, like, this sun is like this, I'm part of stuff, like, this hell is so hot as if, like, it's hotter than the sun itself. You know what I mean? Like, really? Like, how could that be? You know what I'm saying? How could there be something inside the earth? You know what I'm saying? Like I said, now, we know that there is a star inside the earth, that, that baby sun inside the earth, yes. But what I'm saying is, though, they mistakenly calling it this fake ass hell and um saying that when you die you're gonna go down there and burn up and all of this and the dirt. Um <clears throat> but how could there be something inside the earth that's hotter than the sun itself? If that was the case then you know what I'm saying? Or if if that was the case to say that the baby star inside the earth is hotter than the sun itself, then the earth would be the sun <clears throat> would be revolving around the earth. And the planets and so forth will be revolving around that big old hot star inside um, uh, inside the Earth. Because that's what it is in reality. It's not like some fire burn. Because you know you need oxygen for fire to burn, right? Now, this hell is supposed to be down inside the Earth, covered by all these, the dirt and all the many layers of the, um, of the Earth. How is oxygen down there or whatever? You know what I'm saying? It's down the third. Like, come on now. That's, that's BS. Now, we know that there are underground tunnels and stuff in the earth, and there are actually even underground. I haven't seen them to actually say, but I would bear witness, not dealing in beliefs, because you know the God, I don't deal in beliefs. But that's that's a theory that I would entertain, put it like that. You know what I'm saying? Um, about underground civilizations, you know what I'm saying? Peoples that live under the earth, you know what I'm saying, they show, they show these things in X-Files and, you know what I'm saying, in movies like um, Underworld, <laughs> hence Underworld, you know what I'm saying, where these people go down there and they get all, um, their skin get all light <clears throat> because they're blocked from the sunlight, you know what I'm saying, so, and not saying like that's on some, like some, some um, ice age theory, like, oh, they blocked out the sun and then it got light or something, or they went to a cold region and got lighter, I'm saying that as far as those those beings in the movie Underworld and all of that, not to get spooky and all of that, but, you know what I'm saying, that would be their reason because, you know, they all grafted and shit and they going under Underworld and they not getting no sunlight and shit, like vampires, they all pale and shit. Blood suckers. That's why they need blood to, su to survive. And that's why they allow a little interracial um, things to go on nowadays to keep their, keep melanin in them, to keep our blood in them so they can survive. <clears throat> but anyway, Back to the whole point. The whole point is that now, if there's a hell inside the earth that's 4,000 miles, um, why don't we feel the heat from this hell on the soles of our feet? It should be so hot um, from standing on the earth that we couldn't even bear it. Bear it, You know what I'm saying? We'd be like, damn, I got to stay in the house. I can't even go outside and walk on the ground because it's so hot. The, the, oh, man, hell is really hot today, man. I can't even walk on it. I can't even walk outside. Like, if this hell is so hot down there, we don't even feel the heat from hell on, on, our, on the soles of our feet. So this is just like it's just like ridiculous, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, and then they got a whole bunch of crazy concepts like, oh, there's gonna be a resurrection and the people are gonna come up out of the earth. And and the brother was breaking down too how if if they came up out of the earth, they would take part of the earth with them. It would be like connected, like like um like thriller. You see thriller, Michael Jackson thriller. I'm over just coming up out of the earth and shit like that. Like if that would have happened, you know what I'm saying? They would be taking part of the earth, then and destroying the earth itself, and there would be no earth to stand on. Cause you know how many dead people there are. Yo, like really, do you know how many dead people there are? There's been millions and billions and billions and billions of people that have lived and died. Like, are you serious? You mean to tell me that there's going to be a day when all of those people are going to come up out of the fucking ground? Like, come on, man. That is just ridiculous. You know what I mean? But, like, we take these things literally, oh, and, and, and I ain't going to give room to try to justify it some other kind of way. Only way you can say, like, okay, the mentally dead will awake. I understand that, that people are going to come out of a mentally dead grave, you know what I'm saying, and resurrect themselves mentally and also spiritually as far as our emotions. When I say spiritual, I mean our emotions. The spirits are simply emotions that we give off from our souls. And I say souls because you have multiple souls. You have seven major souls, which are known as the seven major chakras. You know what I mean? 
and there are also minor chakras throughout different points uh, of the body. Um, however, these souls are radiation. These souls radiate. You know what I'm saying? Like for